So my CFP experience, like I said, at first I was kind of skeptical. I didn't. So during this time, COVID hit, so I had to leave the island. Hi guys, welcome to Essence MD. My journey began 2019 fall when I took my MCAT. I decided to apply to St. George's and I got in, but I got into their CFP program. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Essence MD. My name is Tolu, and this is a page that I started with one of my really good friends, Nancy Uko. She goes to medical school in Texas while I go to St. George's University in Grenada. So I just wanted to jump in real, here real quick to tell you guys welcome to the page and let you guys know that for the main part, we wanted to focus on being on TikTok and Instagram, but quickly re we realized that some of our content are pretty long for those platforms so that's why we decided to start a YouTube channel so if you guys already aren't following us on those platforms please follow us at essence MD on TikTok and Instagram and if you are hearing about us for the first time on YouTube please make sure to give us a follow on those other social media platforms we post the most of our content on those two channels this page is just going to be four hour longer videos unless you guys really care or like prefer the videos to be on YouTube we could always just post them on YouTube as well but they will be shorter videos um, I think that's all I have to say welcome to the family and let's get into the video hi guys welcome to Essence MD my name is Tolu for those of you that are new, this is a channel that I am running with one of my really good friends. Like I said, my name is Tolu. I go to St. George's University. I am currently a second year med student and my journey began 2019 fall when I took my MCAT. Um, I wasn't very happy with my score, but after praying and talking to family and friends about it, I decided to apply to St. George's and I got in, but I got into their CFP program. You might be asking, what's the CFP program? That's basically what I was saying, what I was um, thinking at the moment. So I did my research and basically it was just a pre-med program that I had to take. And if I passed it with certain um, criteria, I would get to start in their med school the following term. Drexel has a similar program, I believe. So um, I decided to just give it a shot. You know, this is everything I've wanted and this school has given me an opportunity to get that MD. So I went for it. I had to move to Grenada January of, 20, of 2020 and um, the island was beautiful. I can save that for a different video um, talking about like the island and whatnot. But uh, I had to take five courses, anatomy, physiology, psych, uh, cell bio and biochem and from taking those classes at the end of the semester I had to have a GPA of 3.5 or higher as well as take a final um, exam and that exam had you had to score a 75 or higher so that happened um, I did it by God's grace and I was able to start in the medical school August of 2020 so my CFP experience, like I said, at first I was kind of skeptical. I didn't want to take a bunch of like pre-med classes again. I was thinking it was going to be the same thing I learned in undergrad, but to my surprise, it really, really did help me. Not saying it's for everybody, but it did help me because we were learning exactly the same things that the year one med students were learning 
just at a different pace as well as maybe not as in depth as they were learning. So when it came to year one, seeing all these information and topics again, you could tell in my scores that I really understood the material and I think it was the repetition of learning it in CFP and then learning it again not too, too far apart from each other, you know? So I was happy about that because it really helped me with my um, GPA and my grades for the first year of medical school. So during this time, COVID hit, so I had to leave the island March of that year and continue the rest at home with the distractions of being at home and not having your classmates um, to motivate you in person. But by God's grace, he sought me through it, and that was my CFP experience. So if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I don't know why I did that like I'm a YouTuber, guys. You know, I, I watch too much of these YouTube videos. But um, leave them in the comments. Don't be scared to ask anything. I'm going to try to be as honest as possible. And stay tuned for the other content I have. My next video should be coming out soon, and I'll be talking about my first year at SGU, specifically online. So stay tuned. Bye!